Hello everyone, I'm Chris from Croissant Nails and I just wanted to take a moment to introduce myself and the ideas and goals that I have for this channel. Again, my name is Chris, that's C-R-I-S, no H. I'm transgender, so my pronouns are they, them. I grew up in Miami, Florida, and I currently live in Los Angeles, California with my husband and our dog Norman and our cats Boo Boo and Moo Moo. I got into nail art a few years ago when I was stuck at home with a broken foot and came across a nail art tutorial on Instagram's search page. I was positively blown away by the video I saw and I pretty quickly fell down the nail art rabbit hole. I bought myself a stamper, some plates, and some vinyls just to kind of get a feel for nail art and see if I liked it enough to justify spending more money on it. And I absolutely did. So here I am, th three years later or so with a lovely assortment of polish and chrome powders and foils and all sorts of fun stuff that I still am learning to use. I love nail art, I love stamping, and I would actually really love to become a professional nail tech someday. So what I would like to do on this channel is very in-depth tutorials where I sort of go into the step-by-step -step of nail art where what terms mean, what popular products are, and also to talk about some issues that I had that I couldn't find answers for when I was a beginner. For example, I remember when I was starting nail art, I didn't know anything, like I didn't know that acetone left your skin with that whitish, dry residue, I didn't know the difference between base and top coats, I didn't know how important cuticle oil was, I didn't know anything. So, I will be narrating the tutorials because, as I said, I'm not a professional, no. but I still want to help people. I remember watching popular nail bloggers for the first time and thinking, what are these acronyms that I've never seen before? What is that? How do you do that? What does everything mean? What's that peely stuff? What's that top coat? How do you rotate text in Microsoft Paint? So I'm going to be doing my best to explain all of that as clearly as possible. And I will link all of the products that I use in my video. So if you see something that you like and you want to try, then you will know exactly where to find it. I am definitely not perfect at painting my nails. I'm a very shaky person, as you might have picked up on, and I always get my cuticles really messy, or sometimes I move too slow or fast to mess something up or smudge something. Mistakes happen, and they can be really frustrating, but luckily we learn from them and share our experiences to help each other avoid making more mistakes in the future, hopefully. Perfect example, last week I was having trouble adhering a decal to my nail when I was doing my last mani, but luckily I was filming it, so now it can be a learning experience for everyone else. It's a perfect learning experience. It's free real estate. So without further ado, let us get into the first tutorial. All of the items I'm using for this menu will be listed down in the description. For now, I'm starting with plate M052, pardon my French. Standing polish is Monarch Dream and Luna. And a monocle stamper, all for maniology. I'm going to use the blank space in the corner of the plate to make a gradient. I used a thick layer of both polishes, then scrape extremely lightly, like lighter than you think, and then like a little bit lighter, two to three times to blend them, and then softly roll the stamper over the square to pick it up. When you're applying it to your nail, you can use a little more pressure to get the entire image down, especially if you have very curved nails, but be delicate. I pressed the stamper too hard at one point while I was making the set, so now there's a little tear in it, and while it still works, it's so tragic to see it, so do be careful with yours. In between layers, I used some clear tape to clean my stamper and only 100% acetone to clean my plates because regular removers can leave oils on them that can make picking up images difficult. I use a grabber to hold the cotton balls and keep my hands clean, but tweezers or a clothespin also will work well for this. And I like to keep a paper towel under my plate to wipe off excess polish from my scraper.
I did two layers for this gradient. Depending on the colors you use, you could need more or less, but it's all entirely up to you and how you want it to look. Sometimes a few rogue bits of polish won't fully transfer to your nail, but you can just pat them back down and no one will be any the wiser. After I finished the gradient, I put on a layer of Sally Hansen's Big Quick Dry Top Coat, which is one of my favorites as it's shiny, durable, and affordable, and it dries in 10-20 to 20 minutes. I used that time to get started on the other nails in this set, and when I was done with those, this one was ready for the next step. Now I'm going to use the Polish Delirium and the plate M094 Create Your Own. M094 is a layering plate, which means that the images are broken down into two or more stamps that layer over each other to create a more detailed design. They can be quite fun, but for this look I wanted to do reverse stamping, which is stamping an image and coloring it in before applying it to the nail, so I'm just going to stamp the outline this time. After I pick up the tulip outline, I set the stamper aside for a few minutes to let it dry so it won't get smudged when I color it in. It also helps to put a layer of clear coat or smudge free top coat over your image at this point, but I forgot to do that with this set. Such is life. Now that it's dry, I'm going to get my rose quartz palette and put down a blob each of the polishes Little Foot and Monarch Dream. With a short nail art brush, I filled in the design as neatly as I could. I like to keep acetone nearby in either a dappen dish or a cotton ball so I can clean the brush up between colors. Next, I added a blob of evergreen to my color palette to fill in the flower stem. when I was happy with how the image looked, I set it aside to dry again. Depending on how detailed the image is and how thick or thin the polishes you use are, it can take between a few minutes and a few hours for your decal to dry. Because I'm using a smaller image and all stamping polishes here, it only took around 10 minutes for this one to dry completely. A dry stamp won't stick to nails on its own, so I used a sticky base coat from Maniology to adhere this decal. The sticky base coat dries tacky in about 10 to 15 seconds, which gives the decal something to grip onto when you apply it. If any part of the decal doesn't stay when you pull away your stamper, just pat it down with your finger again like before. The final step is top coat. First I put a layer of smudge free top coat to, pre to, to prevent smudges 
and, uh, and then I add my final top coat. For this set, I just used the Sally Hansen Big Quick Dry again. It's one of my favorite top coats. It's accessible and affordable, and I just really highly recommend it. Behold! The final look! I combined two challenge prompts for this look. Tulips for Glam Nails Challenge May, and Gradients for the What's Up Nails Challenge. I couldn't decide on a color scheme, so I googled color palettes and found one I liked a lot. I realized it was because it reminded me of the genderqueer flag, so I decided to call these my genderqueer tulip nails. The items I used in this video will be listed down in the description. Please let me know what you think of this mani and of this video in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel so you can have I Knew Them First credit if I ever become famous. Bye!